Hi and welcome to video series presented by Integration Bytes. In this video, we are going to see how to invoke Java methods in MuleSoft. I am Mohammad Akif and working as MuleSoft developer since last few years. We will cover in this video that how to use Java with Mule4, how to create Mule flows with Java methods. And those methods would be static or non-static and in the end we will see a demo how it works but let's move on to any point studio straight away so here i have got two flows one flow for calling static methods and the other flow for calling non-static methods so first let's see in mule palette that we have a java component if you don't see it here Click on add modules and drag it from one of the object from here. Currently, this is not seen here because we have already got it in this section. Once you click Java component, you should see different operations here like invoke, invoke static, new, validate type. We are going to see first three operations in this video, right? first let's see what i have got in java class if you don't see this java class of course you can create from clicking on here and click new class right name your java class and have the package whatever name you desire okay once you have a java class you can define different methods here like i have got two methods one method would reverse my value whichever value would be provided as an argument and another method is for concatenation right one is static method and the other one is non-static method let's see how we can call these methods in mule so i have got two flows one for static method and the other one for non-static method so these have these are the apis that i have got the listeners you can find it from http listener right and for listener i have configured let's see the configuration here this is for localhost 8081 right and once i go back to message flow and the path is reverse which means that i want to whenever i want to call the reverse method i will have to call this api right and the reverse method i just mentioned in java class which is the string methods and then we will drag this mock static from java component right once we are here we can see that argument the argument that we just passed as value and the value would be attributes query param the query param i will send as value you can see from here right and this argument would be passed to this method okay let's go back in mule flow and here i have got the java class which you can search from here right i will select this and i will select the method which is reverse and this, what re this reverse method does this reverse method reverse the value whatever is provided as an argument okay let's see first how this works so i've got this api as mentioned earlier and i am giving it the name integration bytes so we are expecting that integration bytes would be reversed as a string So this is currently sending and here we get the request or oh, sorry response that integration bytes has been reversed right let's move on and see another flow which is invoke java methods now in this flow what we are going to see we are going to have a concatenation method here which is our known static method defined in java class which receives two arguments and concatenate them in return as a string. 
So for that, I've got an API on get path, right? Then we have got a new, which means that we need to have an instance of Java class because we are going to call non-static method. And for that, I have got class as a string method and we need to have a constructor string methods. Although we have not defined constructor here, so we already have a default constructor, which is non argument constructor defined as Java demo, right? So this is what we are getting as a constructor, okay? And for that, we should also have a name of our instance, which would be passed to this invoke operation. For that, we have got in advance, like uh, target variable which is object right you can name it whatever you want because we are going to utilize this variable in invoke method okay so this is how we can configure new operation of java to have an instance where instance name is object and in invoke we are going to call the method which is non-static so see the instance we just created previously as a new operation and this target variable has been defined here object so because this is the variable we are going to call it like wars dot object which is our instance name right okay and we have got a class which is a string method we can search it from here and we have got the concat method which is mentioned in the strict met methods. Okay. And in arguments, we are going to pass two values. Okay. Let me show you. See, the concat method expects two values. And for that, we are going to call query params, value one and value two. Okay. And then there is a logger which will print the values in itself. So this is how we can configure invoke for non-static method okay let's go back to rest client and call the method get well one is integration and well two is bytes okay let's send the request and here we got this as concatenated integration bytes. And we can see it from Miltro as well that the values we send have been merged or concatenated. So this brings end of video session. If you like the video, please subscribe to the channel and hit bell icon to get more such exciting videos. You can also leave comments to have a video that you would like to see in future. Until then, stay tuned.